Hey Libras, welcome to my channel. If this is the first time you clicked on my video, hey guys, hope you choose to subscribe, join the family. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here, Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's not going to resonate for every single Libra. Do be sure to keep that in mind. If you would like a more personal reading, check me out down below uh, to find out how to book a read with me, okay? I have already pulled cards for you and we're going to get right into your story. This is a little juicy and I feel like it might be a little specific on certain, with certain things I say, okay? So just keep that in mind. The super specific stuff, just if it's not your story, if it's not your part of the story, just ignore it. But I definitely feel like it comes out for a reason. So first of all, I'm going to start with the written messages. It says, since we broke up, it seems that a domino effect is happening in my life. Everything is falling apart and I feel cursed. Hashtag tower. And before I press record, I when I um, split the deck, the tower was out here. So you guys could be dealing with an Aries or a Scorpio, or you could have Aries or Scorpio in your charts. Somebody is getting karma for what whatever they've done, okay? Could have stopped. He's pouting because I haven't been paying attention to him today. I've been so busy. And, you know, maybe that's how your person's feeling right now, too. Pouting, want your attention, Libra. Okay? Uh, you made me want to commit and be married one day. It feels so good to have goals and a moral standard that you've helped me set. We got Hierophant here. Could be dealing with the Taurus. Wow. So, you've inspired this person's moral. Like maybe when you met them, they had no like manners or something, or like you just had to kind of teach this person right from wrong, or you challenged this person to look at things in it from a different perspective, which is definitely Libra energy. You guys really will kind of set people straight sometimes if they're too stuck in their ways, or um, if you feel like somebody needs to look at things from a different perspective, you're very, very good at being able to like get people to see things from, you know, a, a different perspective, a more fair approach. So I want to say you guys might be felt like you were, I don't want to say a mother or a father to this person, but you definitely might be a little older or you might be more mature than this person just in general. You've maybe lived a lot more life than they have and you've had to really kind of like I just want to say set this person straight about things. I'm not sure. We have right person, wrong time. So you could definitely feel like this person was the right one for you. It just was the wrong timing, like in both of your lives due to external parties. Okay. And the next card that comes out, it says, I lay awake at night next to the third party, knowing, wondering how I got here. I made the wrong choice. We have major mistakes. And it really is a major mistake because, and I hate to say it like that, but the pregnancy card came out, you guys. So hidden pregnancy. I'm like, oh, shit. This is the part I said that was pretty super specific that might not resonate for everybody. But somebody has someone that, you know, they got with another person. They got with a third party. And now the third party's pregnant. So now this person really does feel obligated to stay in that situation. It's almost like this person is reaping what they've sown, literally, like, again, it's the giving that whole grass is greener syndrome. When they were with you, they still were pretty immature in, in their ways and were, it got them in trouble, okay? Also, this is a weird message I'm getting too with this money hungry card that came out they could get a lot of not a lot of money but they could have some type of finances caught up in this in this third party okay so whether the third party takes care of them whether they have this agreement where you know it just works financially for this person to stay with the third party especially if this third party is now pregnant it's like oh i don't want to be on child support or i feel like i have to be there for my baby like and I don't feel like Libra, you want anybody leaving you while they have a baby on the way any damn way. Like, I just, you know, that's not giving what it needs to give at all. Um, I'm also getting that this person, if, it, if the take out the pregnancy issue and just this person has an issue with chasing money. And they might have all these ideas about things, about ways to make money. They're very ambitious, but then they get they get discouraged easily and then they just shut everything down so they could be somebody who has a lot of ideas and a lot of ambition but at the same time they're kind of like 
struggling because they never make those things happen. They are procrastinator. They could have all these wonderful ideas, but then they get discouraged because they don't want to do the work that it takes to get to what they need. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of giving that. Could be a fire sign. Fire signs are notorious for that. Okay, all these ideas, but then they burn out. They burn out quickly um, because of all of the preparation and everything that it takes and the consistency that it takes to be successful. So that could be something that you ran into a lot with this person that it's like, I can't be with a bum. Like, I can't be with somebody who's no not ambitious. I can't be with somebody who doesn't have goals. I can't be with somebody who doesn't have morals. Like, there needs to be a balance, you know? Like, you as a Libra, you're the scales. So you can't be with an unbalanced person. Like, you'll take the good with the bad, but it, it has to be, you know, even. There has to be more good than bad, you know? And I think you just started to, as things started tallying up about this person, it's just like, you found out like, you know, they're, they might be the right person for me because of this love aspect that you could feel for each other. But it's like the wrong timing in both of you guys' lives. I feel like it just, you wanted more or were on a different level than this person was. However, we have giving my heart to you in this peace reconciliation card that came out. This person wants to walk away from this third party, Libra. Like, they do they don't want to be in that situation and it's just unfortunate because for some of you guys if there's a child involved that's not even born yet it's like damn like this innocent baby is going to be born into a situation where it doesn't have both parents there it was kind of a karmic situation that the baby was born into like and like unfortunately that's a, lo a lot of that shit goes on like a pregnancy a baby is not going to make a relationship better but time and time again people think that it will um this person wants to send you a message and they want to be open and honest and upfront about everything. In the past, they, they weren't, I want to say. Now they want to come forth because Page of Cups is a messenger card. They could be sending you a message. How do you feel about them? How does Libra feel? You're conflicted. You might think about them a lot at night when you're laying in bed, you know, and you're just really conflicted on why. Why Why is Libra so conflicted? Because you're still very physically attracted to them. <laughs> and you still think about them possibly making moves towards you. What things, what could be, um... Yeah, you definitely think about them coming towards you and choosing you, Libra. You do. But the reason why you're conflicted about it is you wonder, if they do come towards you, do you really want them? You know, that's a funny position to be in, but I've been there. You know, it's like, I want them to come towards me just so I can shut them down. Like, I just, I want them to, I want to know that they still want me. Like, I want them to come towards me so that I know you still want me because I'm that deal. I'm pressure. But... <laughs> At the same time, I don't want your ass, you know? And that's going to be your karma. Like, you coming towards me, but I don't want your ass, you know? That's what I feel, that you feel. Yeah, you're healing. This person put you in a third-party situation for most of y'all. There was somebody else that they, you know, had their eyes on or had dealings with before you, and they got involved, and now somebody could be pregnant, okay? If a person isn't pregnant, they feel stuck with that third party, and they're not happy in that situation. It's more of a financial thing for this person, they don't feel like they have any other option, I'm hearing. Like, you're not picking up the phone or they don't feel like, you know, they haven't reached out to you yet because they're nervous. And so they're just kind of with this person. But they want to talk to you. They want to be with you. They want to reconcile with you. They want to make things right. They don't want you being mad at them no more. And it's like they'd be willing to walk away from this person if you answered the phone and if you act like you wanted to talk to them again, they would walk away from this person. But that is so messy. Like if somebody's pregnant out in this situation, that is so messy. You don't want to deal with that. You don't want the, that drama of labor. You don't want that baby mama drama. Because if I was a person that was literally pregnant and then you leaving me for another person, like I'm not probably going to be a peaceful baby mama. Like, <laughs> wow. How are they feeling about you right now? Like, how do they see you? How do they? How are they seeing your energy? Yeah. 
Okay. So they see you as like really not wanting to fight or have any kind of arguments, disagreements. They see you as being kind of removed from the situation. They could also see you kind of being outside and having fun with your friends, going out. Like, I don't know if they look at your social media and they see you out and about. They see you with, you know, at the bar or the club or whatever, or you're all dressed up all pretty or, you know, you all dressed up all handsome. Cause I know I got some masculine Libras to watch me. Um, but it's like they're they're thinking in their head like you know that i'm the one for you so they do have like this little sexy swagger that i feel like you guys like libra they are confident a little cocky maybe because it's like i know that libra is regretting this i know that libra has is still thinking about me and still has a lot of regrets or feels like damn what could have been you know and that is what you're doing from what the cards are telling me but how do they know that? You guys could share a spiritual connection for them to kind of know that. You could have some kind of telepathic bond or you guys were just very close. Some, it is giving soulmates, two of cups is soulmate energy and that right person, wrong time card did come out for you guys. So it's like this person knows that like you look at them as the one as well, but it's like, why did you do the most? Why did you do the most? What's the energy of the karmic or the third party? third party is ace of wands reverse could be a fire sign or a libra this third party is like really fucking there's like no passion left in that situation and she feels it and it's making her feel really fucking insecure and you know what's so crazy is the empress is pregnant in the tarot in the tarot deck um and so again, we're talking about this pregnancy energy. If somebody's pregnant, if this if this third party's pregnant, put it down in the comments, you guys, with a little pregnant emoji, or just say that yeah, they're pregnant. Um, because I'm getting that heavy, even though it's pretty specific. Um, yeah, that's fucked up. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, why would you, Libra? I don't feel like. How would you? Let me just ask the cards before I say what I want to say. Let me just ask the cards. How would Libra feel? if this person comes back to Libra and leaves behind the third party. You might feel like you're being stalked and watched by the baby mama, for one. You could feel like people have a lot to say about it. Yeah, you could feel like people will look at you as some type of jump off or some type of like, you know, rebound or some shit. And that could cause you to like not want to approach it or like not feel really motivated to do so. You could be concerned with the other, with the third party holding on and being possessive and jealous and crazy. I mean, that could be your, one of your main concerns. If you take this person back with all of this other shit going on, it's like, well, what's that going to, how's that going to affect me? How's that going to make me look? I don't want to look like a home wrecker. I don't want to look like a rebound. I don't want people talking shit about me. And I don't want to deal with this baby mama who could be a lot of drama. And, you know, that would be... You, know, you have your right you have a right to feel that way for sure what are their future actions towards libra they want to work it out with you that's what i said they want to work it out they want to work on this healing process due to their actions to what they did with the third party like honestly i feel like this person's sincere but it's just like i can't make it up ten of cups on the bottom of the deck what the hell libra some of you guys watching might be like, you know what? I'm willing to go through the fire for this person because they are the love of my life. Others of you are going to be like, well, what the fuck? They did so much. Like, they're my soulmate. I love them. But, man, do I want to deal with all the drama that's associated with this person? Like, because let's say they, they do have somebody pregnant and you guys end up being together. Let's say you guys end up getting married. You know you are now the, the step-parent of this brand new baby. Some people have enough heart to go around and that they take on, you know, their their person's kids like their own and all that and have no issue with it. And other people do have issues with it. So that's something you're going to have to ask yourself if you're dealing with this situation. OK, um, again, if you're not dealing with the pregnancy energy, I still feel like somebody there was third party here, though. So there still could be a third party energy that's going to be 
really pissed off <laughs> okay so you're gonna have to deal with what being able to trust this person that they're not still talking to the third party being able to navigate if the third party starts reaching out to you and harassing you and all this shit like is that something that you're going to be willing to go through for the sake of being with this particular person what's the outcome of this the devil that's not good y'all that's not good that's crazy the devil with the six of cups yeah this this person's third party energy that they have attached to them is not going to be letting go very easily mm -hmm. i don't know i feel like this is going to motivate you towards other things at the end of the day i feel like you're gonna yeah Four of Wands reversed with the star reversed on the bottom of the deck. And then underneath that, the Nine of Pentacles. I think ultimately you guys are going to offload that burden to this person. I think at first you will think that you can do it. And you'll maybe pos you know, you'll maybe take this person back because they're gonna come in very hot and heavy. I'm telling you, they are. They're gonna be super romantic, laying it on thick, wanting to take you down. Okay. Or wanting to put that feet on you. Okay. And you might give in to that. And that's okay. But I think ultimately, once you see the weight of the, once you see like the the sheer like weight of what this person has done, like all these contracts, and it might not even be just this third party. Other people might start sprouting up from like their random moments because the Seven of Cups is out here. Seven of Cups is somebody who has a lot of options. Other people could just start popping out the woodwork as you're starting to work on your relationship with them. And you're just going to be like, what the fuck have you been doing? Like, you are you're you really have been out here sowing your oats, dude. Like, that's what I feel the need to say. I think this person's going to actually make you feel like, eh, what you're offering me isn't good enough anymore. Now I need to go back to the drawing board and focus, you know, on someone else or something else. Or that's what I'm seeing. I think that this ultimately is what you need to do, though. Um, a lot of you will have to invite this person back in and see this firsthand for you to truly be done. I don't think a lot of you guys are all the way done yet with this particular person. And unfortunately, you're going to have to maybe go through another round of shit with them to actually fully see things for what it is before you can really be done now this person though is going to be heartbroken though i'm not even gonna lie like this person that, that's coming back to you they're gonna be sad when you cut them off because i feel like this is one of them things where now that they're really actually ready they've done too much they've done too much karmic shit like in their past that it's caught up to them now and now they have to really go through that karma the tower didn't tower come out yeah like the, their life is a tower right now because of everything that they have done it's like all accumulated and now they have to deal with the repercussions of it and unfortunately the timing of everything is just going to make it to where y'all just don't want to deal with it and i don't blame you because you shouldn't have to deal with all that damn drama okay if this resonated with you be sure to like the video um please like the video libra i do have issues with libras not liking the videos as much as other signs so do be sure to do that um love you guys so much thank you for being here and i'll see you later